This episode was made possible in part by ABC Mouse and Kitty Academy. Hello, folks. It's me, the conductor. Today, we travel to Troodon Town for a spooky visit to their haunted roundhouse. So come on along with me on the dinosaur train. All aboard! Dinosaur train! Dinosaur train. Once upon a time, there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Tyrannodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratch and said, Oh boy, my eggs are hatching. One by one, her kids pop free. Baby Tyrannodons, one, two, three. I'll name you Tiny, Shiny, and Don. But Tiny said, Wait, there's one more, Mom. Last little baby was a different size, with teeth and a tail and big green eyes. You didn't look anything like the rest. What am I doing in a Tyrannodon nest? But dear old Mrs. Tyrannodon oh, said, Oh, this is your family and I'm your mom. You may be different, but we're all Creatures. All dinosaurs have different features. Come on, buddy, we'll take a vacation. I'll get us a ticket at Tyrannodon Station. We'll travel the world in sunshine and rain and meet all the species on the Dinosaur Train! Dinosaur Train! Dinosaur Train! Dinosaur Train! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Conductor! Huh? I uh, didn't scare you? Well, sure, Mr. Conductor. Oh, goody. Oh, we have a very special evening planned for you, Pteranodon Clan. Really? What's gonna happen? Well, this night train is taking us to Troodon Town, where, under the full moon, we'll make a spooky visit to the haunted roundhouse. <laughs> And have a big party! Wait, a haunted roundhouse? It'll be fun, Shiny. Don't be scared. <laughs> I'm not scared. Never fear, passengers. Troodons can see in the dark. We're nocturnal. What? Nocturnal means they're mostly active at night. I know what nocturnal means, Shiny. Don't worry, Shiny. You'll have a great time. The Troodons are gonna come up with all kinds of made-up spookiness. <laughs> That's just their idea of fun. Okay. I'll be right by your side the whole way. And you know your old dad is not afraid of anything. Uh, well, and neither am I. <laughs> Good. Bring on the spooky. Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Hooray! Time tunnel! Time tunnel approaching! Next stop, Troodon Town, in another part of the Cretaceous time period. Follow me to the haunted wrong house. <laughs> How you doing, Shiny? Okay, I guess. How can I tell if this spookiness is made up or real? <laughs> you can ask me. There's an explanation for everything, and it'll all turn out all right. Good. So what are we waiting for? Let's go to the haunted roundhouse. If you dare. You ready, Shiny? Ready. Wow, they've really changed things in here. Yeah, they moved all the extra train cars out of the stalls and made them spooky. <laughs> Observe! Snacks for creepy carnivores, awe-inspiring omnivores, and horrifying herbivores. Please! Oh, Tank, go easy on the snacks. Make sure to leave some for the other guests. <laughs> Look into the mystical chambers of the haunted round house. I have to walk through those? Oh, they're just to make the place more spooky. 
They aren't real spider webs. Oh, yeah? They're real. And I've been working all day on them. I'm exhausted. So, a little appreciation, please? Oh, uh, your webs are very spooky. Oh, thank you very much. You're, you're, you're welcome. welcome. <laughs> Good evening! <laughs> <laughs> Care to feel a bowl full of dinosaur eyeballs? <laughs> Dad, those aren't really eyeballs, are they? <laughs> no, I wouldn't think so. Huh? Nah, it's peeled berries and stuff. They're just supposed to feel like eyeballs. Well, they... Feel kind of like eyeballs, I guess. I've never really felt eyeballs before. Me neither. Yuck. Pretty spooky, though, huh? <laughs> it is spooky, but fun. Excellent! <laughs> this is so great. It's the best haunted roundhouse ever. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Let's check out that next door. I wonder what kind of spooky thing we'll find this time. Okay, that is scary. Is it a ghost? Is it, Dad? Well, let's find out. <gasps> Jake? Excuse me. Oh, hi, guys. That was you making the noise? Yeah, my mom was right. I have a tummy ache. I think I ate too fast. What did you eat? I don't know. I guess it was supposed to be something spooky. But it was green, and it looked really tasty. <laughs> oh, you had us going there for a second, Tank. We thought you were something really scary. Me? Scary? Nah. But isn't this haunted roundhouse the best? Okay, I'm feeling better now. Let's go check out the next stall. Maybe there'll be food. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh. ah. There wasn't any ghost. It was just Tank with a tummy ache. Come on, everybody. So you're not scared, Shiny? Not at all. I. Mrs. Conductor. Who kids? I found this empty slab, and I was just taking a refreshing nap. Oh, like my feathers, I had them done up just for the occasion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, everybody. Let's see what else is in this haunted roundhouse. Bring on the spooky. <laughs> Hello, son. Hello, mother. <laughs> you are looking particularly frightening this evening. You think so? Why, thank you. Are you enjoying yourself, Shiny? Yeah. I think I'm finally not scared anymore. Ha, now that's the spirit. Nothing scares me either. <gasps> that's not me or my stomach. <laughs> oh boy, that Mr. Conductor can sure make some funny sounds. Uh, Tiny, he's behind us. <gasps> it must be another Troodon making that sound. Right, Mr. Conductor? Actually, it's no Troodon. That's a sound I've never heard before. You haven't? <laughs> what was that? Well, I intend to find out. Right behind you, Mr. Pteranodon. My name is Vlad. I'm a Volatocotherian. Who are you? Hi, I'm Tiny Tyranidon, and this is my family and my friends. Oh, oh I, uh, I hope I didn't frighten you. <laughs> Not at all. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> oh, Lord! I'm still spooked, actually. Uh, Vlad, I have so many questions. Like, why were you making that shrieking noise? Oh, I always make that sound when I wake up, in case there are any other Volatocotheriums around. I noticed that you're covered with fur. Are you a mammal? Oh, excellent observation, Tiny. I am. But how can a mammal fly? I don't exactly fly. I, I glide. 
I open my wings and glide down from up high. But to get up high, I have to climb with my arms and legs. Ooh, just like a microraptor. <laughs> but I've never seen you before, sir. You're not from this part of the Cretaceous, are you? No, I came from far away and a long time ago. I'm a mammal from the Jurassic time period. See, I rode the dinosaur train all the way to Troodon Town, but it was bright daylight when I arrived. So I went inside this shady roundhouse to sleep until it was dark. Oh, you must be nocturnal. Right, I sleep in the day and hunt in the night. A lot of mammals are nocturnal. Really? Yes, it's easier for little furry mammals to hunt for their food at night when most of the huge scary dinosaurs are asleep. Uh, except for some of us, uh, like Trodons. <laughs> <laughs> you must have sharp eyes to hunt at night, right? Yes, but I have especially great hearing. See, I eat insects, and it really helps me to be able to hear the buzzing noise that bugs make. And I would have stayed asleep, but all this music and laughing and screaming, it woke me up. Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Vladicotherium. Eh, call me Vlad. And don't worry, I I've had enough of a nap anyway. It's night now, and I should be out hunting insects. Oh, that's the sound of your night train ride back home, kids. Mr. Conductor, this was the most fun and spookiest night ever. And now, we get to ride the night train. Oh, the night train. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Ride home, Vlad? Yep. It's back to the Jurassic for me. Plus, how can I miss this chance to ride the night train? Ha! All aboard! Everybody. Hi there, I'm Dr. Scott, the paleontologist. I'm outside in the forest at night because this is a great place to talk about the Laticotherium, an amazing mammal that lived millions of years ago during the Jurassic time period. The Laticotherium was probably nocturnal, which means that it was most active at night. Whoa, there goes one now. Paleontologists think that Velaticotherium ate insects, spent a lot of time in trees, and even glided through the air from tree to tree. Velaticotherium didn't have wings, but was able to glide because it had a large flap of skin stretched between the front and back legs on each side. Velaticotherium means ancient gliding beast. In fact, it's the only gliding mammal known from the entire age of dinosaurs. Although Velaticotherium looks a little like a bat, it's much more similar to another nocturnal animal alive today, the flying squirrel. Just like Velaticotherium, bats and flying squirrels are nocturnal. They have excellent hearing and they zoom through the air. Whoa, whoa! Just think, Velaticotherium was gliding millions of years before the first flying squirrel or bat, and maybe even before the first birds. Okay. Keep watching for more dinosaur discoveries. Hello, folks. It's me, the conductor. Today, our Pteranodon family goes to the big pond to see their very first pumpkins ever. So come on along with me on the dinosaur train. All aboard! <laughs> Mr. Lambiosaurus just walked by, carrying something weird. Yeah, are they rocks? Let's be real quiet and follow him and find out. Shh. Gonna quietly see what Larry's up to? <laughs> <laughs> Small yellow and green gourds here. I have some bigger ones too. 
Wait, those aren't rocks. They're gourds. Done. Shh. Hey, what? <laughs> I thought I heard some noisy neighbors back there. Come on out now, Pteranodons, and join the fun. We, uh, didn't want to bother you. So, uh, what are you doing with all the gourds, Larry? Glad you asked. As you all know, it's gourd season. Gourd, gourd season? season? The time of year when gourds grow. I grew up always celebrating this time of year. And we do too. It's so fun. We collect different size gourds and put them all around our nest area. So you just celebrate gourds? <laughs> Actually, buddy boy, it's a celebration of the autumn moon. The autumn moon? Yep. The big full autumn moon happens once a year, always around this time. We call it the autumn equinox, the day when it's exactly the same amount of daytime and nighttime. Tonight's moon is going to be completely full. And <laughs> it'll be a certain color. Moon! Autumn moon! Moon! Yeah, the boy. <clears throat> Well, uh, yeah, have fun with your gourds and moon. Uh, we have a thing to do, so. Come on, kids. What thing do we have to do, Dad? You know, that thing. But this celebration sounds like so much fun. Can't we stay and play with the gourds? Look, this gourd looks like King Cryolophosaurus's crest. Thank you very much. Yeah, how do you like my horns? They're gourds. The gourds. <laughs> Did someone say gourds? Hi, Mom. It's gourd season. Oh, Mrs. P, welcome to our festivity. The Lambiosaurus family celebrates gourd season at the autumn moon. And they go around collecting gourds. Hoot! Larry, I found some of these bumpy ones. Oh, hello, Pteranodon family. Happy gourd season. Hello, Mrs. Lambiosaurus. Happy gourd season. Happy gourd season? We have a whole day planned. Larry, did you tell our neighbors about the patch? The, the patch? patch? Oh, it's the place where the most gourds grow, right near the big pond. You've heard of it, right? Oh, can't say I have. And I've been living in this region for a long time, Larry. You've got to come with us and visit the patch. It's got the best pond. Oh, wait, 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 kids. Maybe we should keep it a surprise. I mean, what's at the patch? <laughs> It'll be more fun for the pteranodons. Yeah, good idea, Dad. So you'll come with us to the big pond? Can we, Mom and Dad? Please? You know, we would, but uh, today I have to clean the beach and uh, fix the nest. That's pretty broken, uh, so I gotta deal with that. But you know what? <laughs> On second thought, Team Pteranodon will join you. Thanks for the invite. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. great! To the dinosaur train! Right behind you, Larry. Tickets! Tickets, please! Hello, Pteranodon and Lambiosaurus families. Hello, Mr. Conductor. Oh, the whole neighborhood's here. What, pray tell, is the occasion? We're all going to the big pond. It's the autumn moon celebration tonight. Yep, we're going to visit the patch. Ooh, the patch. But I think that not everyone believes there is a patch or a surprise there. Hmm? Well, Mr. P, you just may be pleasantly surprised. After all, it is gourd season. Oh, yes, I've heard. Found these two funny ones yesterday. Oh. <laughs> wow, gourds must be the funniest looking vegetables ever. Vegetables, huh? Interesting. Voila! Gourds! You call them vegetables, buddy, but are they? Take a look. All gourds have seeds in the middle. Therefore, gourds are fruits, not vegetables. Fruits? In fact, all fruits have seeds in the middle. And what are the seeds for? To make more gourds? Correct, Don. Now here's one more gourd. Oh, the big one. Hey, hey, hey uh, 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 Mr. Conductor, I wanted to keep this part a special festive secret. Hey, oh, uh, hey, that's why I'm doing this <laughs> funny dance. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, all right, fine, Larry. It'll be our secret. Yeah, 
thanks a lot. I just wanted to surprise the Pteranodon family when we get to the patch. How about the moon, Dad? Tell everybody about the moon. Oh, right. Thank you, Lily. <clears throat> Tonight, there will be a very bright, full, special autumn moon. Moon! Autumn moon! Yes, indeed. It's the autumn equinox. Today, the night and the day will last just about the same amount of time. And tonight's moon will be a different color than normal. Uh, sorry to interrupt you again, Mr. Conductor, but I wanted to keep the color of the full moon a surprise, too. Yeah, fine. I guess we're done here. I bet the moon will be color blue. I say green. I hope it's shiny gold color. I say orange. <laughs> well, before you know it, all surprises will be revealed because we're here. Big Pond Station! Next stop, Big Pond! Enjoy your autumn moon, folks! Moon! Autumn moon! <laughs> so I guess we're lost now. Almost there, neighbor. Ready for some big surprises, everyone? Ta-da! The patch! <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. Me neither, buddy. They're amazing! You know, Larry, I'm impressed. They are amazing. I know, aren't they? So, what kind of gourds are they, Mr. Lambiosaurus? Glad you asked, Tiny. I call them pumpkins. <laughs> pumpkins? <laughs> <laughs> it's Larry's nickname for them. Well, they're so big and orange and special, I thought these gourds deserved a special name. <laughs> Well, there certainly are a lot of them. Sure are. So, what do you think, neighbors? Let's pick us some pumpkins! Yeah! And who will find the biggest, most orange pumpkin? I think I will, <laughs> as usual. Well, we'll see about that. I think I'll find the biggest one. I will! No, I will! I will! Okay, okay, everybody, line up. And on a count of three... One, two, three... <laughs> okay, on the count of three, line up and show us your best. One, two, three. <laughs> Together, these sort of make a T-Rex. Mine has a hoot and hadrosaur crest. Oh, so does mine. <laughs> hoot! Hoot! <laughs> nice one, honey. <laughs> this is the shiniest one I could find. And my pumpkin is really tiny. Donna and I found this really big one. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry. I didn't have much luck. Oh. I was kidding. Isn't it gorgeous? Well, Mrs. B, you have found the biggest pumpkin of all. Very good work for a beginner. Congratulations. Yeah! Ready to carve faces in our pumpkins, Dad? Oh, thanks, Lily. I almost forgot. Now comes the best part of all. We take the top off our pumpkin, then we scoop out all the seeds and stuff in the middle. Ew! Gross! <laughs> Great. Then you carve a face into your pumpkin, like this. Wait, you carve a face in a gourd, which you call a pumpkin. <laughs> I don't get it. Why? Because it's fun, Dad. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get carving! Yeah! I know. What fantastic pumpkins. Oh, and just in time, too. Look! The autumn moon is rising. Ooh, what color will it be? It's orange! I was right! La -la Everything is ready, pumpkin patchers. Now watch this trick. Whoa! Whoa. Happy Autumn Moon, everybody! Hi there. 
here. I'm Dr. Scott, the paleontologist. Isn't the moon amazing? It's a huge world that goes around our planet. The moon and Earth have been circling each other for billions of years. Back in the age of dinosaurs, the moon was much closer to the Earth than it is now, so it looked a lot bigger to the dinosaurs than it does to us today. A full moon happens once a month when the sun is on one side of the Earth and the moon is on the other side. During these times, you can see the full circle of the moon being lit up by the sun. Now, when we see a big full moon in autumn, we often think of one thing, Halloween. Point of fact, dinosaurs did not celebrate Halloween. Thank you. Well, that's definitely true, but there were big, beautiful full moons, even bigger than the full moons we see today. Okay, remember, get outside, get into nature, and make your own discoveries. We love playing games, like on the board. You can play too, online at pbskids.org. And lots of other games. There's so much to learn about all kinds of dinosaurs. Go to pbskids.org. The dinosaur train. A dinosaur train. Dinosaur train. Dinosaur train. We're gonna ride. The dinosaur train. Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also, subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime Video channel.